Welcome everybody. Today we're going in a little bit different direction. Uh, more of a product review of this stick bag by a company called Tackle. Let's get into it. So, Tackle Instrument Supply Company. More than likely, you probably haven't heard of this group. I certainly hadn't. Uh, I saw this product at a NAMM show about four or five years ago. Saw all their products, as a matter of fact. And to be honest, I was kind of blown away by them. A stick bag is a stick bag is a stick bag. I'm not gonna lie, this one or all my other ones, they all do the same thing. They carry sticks. Some carry are able to carry more things. This one doesn't carry a lot. It's pretty much a stick bag. But what I really, really liked about it, more than anything else, is its build quality. This is solid leather. The whole thing is, is solid leather. Leather strap, leather handle, real brass rivets, Brass zipper, big, heavy, thick, monstrous zipper. Um, and so I just fell in love with the bag. Is it the best bag ever? I can't say that. I have some issues with a few things on it. I'm going to get to those in a little bit. But let's start off with it. First of all, like I said, the leather. When I can only imagine, because I have a lot of other leather goods at home, this leather is newer obviously it hasn't worn in yet it's going to patina there's going to be scratches and with all other leather goods i think it, this is going to look pretty cool i have one other leather stick bag from a long time ago and it wore in so nice it was just so supple and it was just you had it in your hand you went this is a quality product so i wanted to go and get another one and these guys were there i looked at their product and then i went home and i looked them up and i went wow that's a price tag <laughs> these are not cheap bags uh you gotta admit with the with the materials and all this is going to cost you this one cost me slightly over 200 dollars for this stick bag would I suggest that everyone go out and get one of these? No. It's pricey, but it's built that way. The pleather type bags I've been using recently from a couple different companies. Uh, yeah, sure, they work. You throw sticks in them. You throw them in your car. You bring them out. You get, get the sticks out. No one ever sees them but you. They work perfectly fine, but they're not built like this. And, you know, those pleather bags are like $100 still. This is $200 or slightly over, and it's just built like a tank. So let's get into it. We've got, first of all, a pocket on the front right here. It's got the got their stamped logo into it. Tackle Supply or Tackle Instrument Supply Company. I'll get that right someday. I like this. This isn't going to give way to a, a button. It's not just going to pop open. It is literally a buckle. <laughs> I think that's kind of cool. Now, this pocket is pretty deep, as you can tell. It's a pretty deep pocket. It's not very wide. I can get my hand in there. You're gonna be able to put in there, you know, your wallet, your phone, keys, drum keys, uh, earplugs, earbuds, in-ear monitors, things like that. You could even probably put a, uh, the, the smaller iPad in there too. Looks like it it's, would fit that perfectly well. But you're not going to get much else in there. Uh, but still, you know, the stuff that I take, everything will fit in there. The, but everybody's different. Whatever you take, maybe, maybe it won't work for you. But for me, it's plenty big for what I'm going to be bringing. So then, let's buckle this baby back up with the cool buckle. Okay, then on the back, on the edge, let's put it. All leather, shoulder strap, throw it over your shoulder, 
take it with you. Brass, brass, everything on this thing is brass, it's hardcore, but there's a cool thing that I, that I both like and don't like, but I'm going to tell you the like part first. They came up with a way to make this a freestanding bag. And what you do is you unpop that, you take the butt end of a stick, stick it right in there, and then put this part right there. And it's cool, but because of all the, the metal and everything down here, it doesn't quite hold flat, which me being anal retentive mm, gets to me. <laughs> but it does work, okay? It does work. And I'll show you more about that later. Then this just pops back up. And of course, your shoulder strap, again, brass buckle right here. Adjust it to you, okay? Adjust it to you. If we keep going, nothing else on the back. So you have one pocket on the front, nothing else on the back. And, the, and their patented stick stand. That's what I'm going to call it. Their patent, patented stick stand. All right. Let's open this bad boy up. Now, again, like I said, you can't really see it, but brass. Brass zipper, and I like it. And these teeth on the zipper are monstrous. But I really dig that. You just feel like it's quality, okay? Open this thing up. And there's the inside of the stick bag. Now, as far as being able to hold any more things, you have one small pocket here, which personally, when, when it wears in, if you put enough stuff in there and you wear into the leather, it will probably be handy. But this is one of my complaints, and I'll get to that in a moment. Little uh, brass ring here. You can put your keys on it, whatnot. Two pockets, two main pockets. They are not divided like some bags. But I can hold all the sticks I'm going to need for a drum set gig. Go to a lounge, you know, whatever. This is not going to be a percussion bag. You're not going to throw mallets and stuff in here with, with the very large heads on them. The, this is strictly a stick bag as far as I'm concerned. And it's just robust leather. You have loops, leather loops here, so you can hang them from your floor tom like many people do. Okay. You also have this cool little spot right here for a drum key, and it's already hanging on the... On the uh, on the device. So if I pop that bad boy open, break out my drum key, unscrew it, do whatever you need to with it. So that's, I like that idea. It's there, it's handy, and it's within reach when you need it. Now I always have a drum key within reach, whether I've got a magnetized one on my snare drum. I have one on my hi-hat that comes with the uh, Mapex Falcon hi-hat. Although you're not going to, in the middle of a gig, be able to get to that in any way, shape, or form. So it's there when you need it, but you're not going to get to it. Here, say my one that I keep on my rim, my magnetized one, somehow falls off. I can reach for this one. Okay. So pretty much those are the goods of the bag. Let's go over what I don't like. What I don't like, let's start with this pocket. This pocket right now is pretty useless. If I were to take this drum key, okay, I take this drum key and I put it in the pocket, it, it is so tight. <laughs> I mean, if you probably can't see that, but that is super tight in there. Now, you might be able to put a credit card in there or some cash but not much else until you keep using it and using it and using it and let that leather become supple enough to hold something. But right now, outside of that one little drum key, that pocket is about useless, okay? It's nice to have, I'm sure, but it's, it's kind of useless. As far as... As far as the pocket on the front... It's got plenty of room for anything I'm going to need. I'll throw my keys in there, wallet, phone, whatever, for the night until I'm done with it. Uh, I like these, but they do hang low. However, you can stretch them out across. But if you do that, and I'm talking around your floor time, 
If you do stretch them out across around your floor tom, the problem, I wonder if you can see it, see the handle? <laughs> That's going to be, like I've got, I've got two floor toms, it would be in the middle of both of them, or if I've got it on one tom tom, it's going to be right in the middle of my playing surface, so that's not going to work. Hang it down more like this. Sure, that could work. But you're also, what you're doing is just putting it around the top part of your tension rod. I have a feeling that that's going to pop off. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the bag is heavy enough, but I think it's going to pop off. Just my, just my two cents. But I like that they're there. All stick bags have them, and that's a good thing. I won't ever use this for the key ring or whatever. I'm not gonna attach anything on there. I've never done that ever in my whole life, so I don't think that's ever gonna be a thing for me. You know, just not gonna be a thing. The strap is okay. The strap is okay. It's everything you'd expect. But here we go. Let me do it this way. Here's what I don't like. I think this is a great idea. The stick stand. Again, I think this is a great idea. You just pop it in there. It does work, by the way, but let me show you what I don't like about it. Okay, so there's your stick stand. Now, if I turn this thing around, okay, oops. If I turn this thing around for you, check it out. Even if I try to stretch out the leather, it's gonna flop one way or the other. Right now it's popping this way, mainly because I've got the sticks in there and that huge pocket on this side of the bag is weighing it that way, but it works. Not gonna lie, it does work. It's gonna work just fine. It's not gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna be able to pull sticks out of it. It'll be fantastic, but the whole lopsidedness is driving my, my anal retentiveness crazy. Uh, if by some chance you hit the bag, it's just gonna fall over. It, it's not meant to be completely sturdy. It's a clever, ingenious idea, and I like where they were going with it. I just wish it was flatter and worked better. Um, yeah, that's what I really wish. The other thing is this. Let's take a look at the backside of this. Now, see all this brass up here and even if I take this off, okay, I'm gonna take this off. Say you're for the gig, you just take off your, your shoulder strap, okay? Got these big brass, 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 and I love it. But here's also why I don't love it. If you hang this from your floor tom, okay, and it's dangling, you could throw this forward if you're thinking about it, <laughs> but Still, there's enough there that when it's hanging on your floor tom, I can only imagine that it's gonna scratch your floor tom. Like it's gonna scratch the finish. Maybe it won't, maybe it will. But uh, maybe not this one, but I, I just have this feeling like this is gonna jangle around and if you forget to take the strap off, then you got all of this attached up here, all of this brass more stuff to scratch up your equipment. So I don't actually like, I, I like it and I don't. I like the aesthetic of it. I think it's a cool design, it's, it's manly, it's, it's super cool. And then you, you, you go and use it and you're like, ah, I don't know. So, so there's that. Now let's go back and finish up on this. It's super well made. This thing is incredibly well made. Is it worth over $200? Mm. Mm. I get, I get uh, the price of the materials is going to be more because of what all the materials of this bag are. But I just think it misses a few spots. I'm going to use it and I really do like it. It's only gonna hold a few pairs of sticks, but let's be honest, in, in all of my years of playing, in, in one show, I may have dropped two sticks ever. I got plenty of sticks to pick up. I don't need any more, okay? So, 
It's a beautiful bag. I think that leather is gonna like break in fantastically well. I do like that. But again, those small things, like the stick stand, ingenious idea, maybe needs a little work. The hangers with all with the big handle and then the brass, scratch up your equipment, I don't know. But all in all, the quality, it is, it's fantastic. It, it really is. Uh, I like this drum key idea. It's just a quality piece. I'm happy I own it. But I, I'm not sure that I would go out and tell you to spend over $200 on it. I think the company's in the right direction. I think they're making quality products. Just a, just a couple little tweaks, and I think we would have this thing. So, in any case, in the comments below, tell me what kind of stick bag you've got. What company? What company do you got? Most of mine are Vic First stick bags. I got a few Pro Marks from years ago. Uh, I've got uh, my, my majestic mallet bag. I have a Zildjian mallet bag, and that's for all the orchestral stuff, all marimbas and timpani and stuff. Uh, but what, what's your favorite stick bag? What stick bag are you using? Do you like it? What's something you love about it? Tell me what you love and what you hate about your stick bag. All right? And outside of that, if you don't mind, slam that like button. Please subscribe and share this video. And until the next time, we'll see you later. Take care, everybody.